Hi Libra, this is going to be your reading for the 8th through the 14th of February 2022. It's good primarily for Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, or Mercury placement of Libra in tropical astrology, but it could resonate anywhere where you have Libra in your natal chart. It is a general reading though, it's not a personal reading, so it might not resonate with everyone that watches or maybe only parts of it will, okay? If this doesn't resonate with you Libra, try watching readings for any other part of your natal chart on my channel Somachandra Tarot. I'm going to post this on both Somachandra Libra and Somachandra Tarot so it reaches more people if you're new welcome to my channel subscribe and hit the bell so you know when i read for your sign if you're viewing this on soma chandra libra welcome to libra nation this channel is just for libra and also sagittarius and if you want to get into the vibe on my other channel soma chandra tarot i read for all 12 zodiac signs on that channel again posting at both places if you're looking for a private reading healing manifestation human design or astrology services the link to my website's down in the description below all right let's begin so Libra, I posted a one love message for you uh, the other day, and I wanted this to be more of a general message, but it was so clear to me that it was very much about relationship, that this is like an alternate relationship reading for you. So you're going to kind of get another one, but I do see some other stuff coming out for you. Libra, this week, the middle of the month, your human design activation is line three, five, which is the catalyst savior, but I have the witch in reverse. So what this says to me is in the middle of the month, it's really important for you to try to claim personal power, the earthly weaver of the worlds. This is a person who wants to create and weave their own world. They have a lot of sovereignty. They have a lot of magic. They have a lot of power, but they need to be allowed to work their magic the best way they see fit. Because the witch is in reverse, I feel like you guys feel as though your power is being sort of taken from you or diminished in some way. You could be coming into contact with a person that's the 3-5 profile in human design, but this could be kind of your MO right now. I'll tell you about the catalyst, um, save your personality. It's also referred to as the martyr heretic profile as well. The third line is the conscious personality ma that, ma I'm sorry, let me start again. I need to get it a little closer. Let me read it better. The third line in the conscious, conscious personality manifests as the pattern of constantly bumping into things, breaking things, making mistakes, and learning through trial and error. While the third line seems to have many mishaps, it never truly makes a mistake. The mistake-making process for the third line is how they find out what will and what won't work. Third lines are built to get knocked down and get back up again with more knowledge than before. So this may be a week of trial and error. If you don't wanna bump into things and have a lot of mishaps and learn by making mistakes, stop, hold still, and have some foresight before you go rushing into something, okay? But the line three of the I Ching, which is a part of human design, it incorporates the six lines of the I Ching and how it affects our body. When the third line comes out, Spirit's trying to remind you, look, life is a process of trial and error. So you may do some things right this week and you may do some things wrong this week. So if you want to avoid doing trial and error and experimentation, in particular with very important relationships and very important parts of your life, um, have a little bit of foresight before you go diving in. I think that some of you might be very insistent in a conversation with someone this week. I see you guys really wanting answers and wanting to have some kind of a breakthrough with a person who's kind of a little bit all the way freaking out. They are going to stand up to you. I think it may be about commitment or family and the way they were raised might be involved. Here's the cool thing about the fifth line, though. They're kind of every, well, they're here to help people, but a lot of people want someone with the catalyst savior archetype to rescue them. The unconscious fifth line in the body radiates the seductive aura of the savior. This constantly draws a positive expectation from others onto the three, five profile person. The fifth, fifth line also experiences the burned at the stake reaction from others, which occurs when those who felt their expectations were not met by this person tend to place anger and blame on them. 
this is what happens to people that are in the 3-5. It's interesting, my daughter's a 3-5. Um, I have several other people with this profile in my life and they have this profile of the saint where people are seduced by their open centers. They're seduced by that fifth line of the I Ching that radiates all through them and they put you up on a pedestal thinking that you are the answer. Meanwhile, you're bumping into shit, making your own mistakes, doing trial and error, which is why you have so much wisdom to give, except when you're not allowed to give it. You feel like your wings are clipped. I think that people need you to rescue them right now, Libra, with this. I think that they need you to rescue them while you're in the midst of learning like you do, like a normal human being. So don't let people just put you up on a pedestal and think you're perfect. I get the sense that some of you in an important relationship this week may find yourself, someone around you, may realize that you're only human and that they required too much of you and they weren't being realistic with you. And then you're going to fall from grace in some way when they realize you're just a normal human being like everyone else. And not only are you a normal human being, you're not being allowed to work your own magic the way you want. I also feel like you or someone you're trying to connect to has a lot of personal power that's either being taken away from you or them, or they're just not using it or they're not being allowed to use it. So use your personal power to make the life that you want. Watch out for rescuing other people. The beauty of the three five to be the savior catalyst is that you can give people your knowledge and wisdom from your past mistakes and you can give them guidance, but you are not here to rescue people. You got to put your own oxygen mask on. And this person may also have been in a role of rescuer as well. Now their hands are tied and you don't like that and you're mad. Interesting. <laughs> Health came out for you as well. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I saw a lot of missed doctor's appointments. I also saw something wrong with someone's foot and their left hand. I see people well overdue for blood work. Um, this is just a week to check in with your own health. Have you been putting off a doctor's appointment? Have you been focusing on moving and taking care of your physical body? The middle of February apparently is a good time overall to honor your physical vessel that enshrines your soul because this is where your soul resides. It's right here in the present moment, right people? Yeah. And whatever you're going through right now might be diminishing your health. A lot of cards came out of the Life Coaching Oracle deck. The first card that came out was 48, Unwavering, Unwavering Faith. You're being asked to have faith in the unseen at this time. I can see that you feel like you want some kind of answer and you're not sure about a situation anymore. Spirit saying you are a person you're connecting to might be asking you to have faith as the King and Queen of Swords. Oh, <laughs> maybe other signs might have faith, but usually the King and Queen of Swords are like, um, I'll have faith in you when you show me facts. Air signs like a lot of proof. Yeah, but you're going to be asked to have faith and that may be difficult for you. I also see though, a couple different good messages came out. The magic touch, the Midas touch, you're accessing true magic from deep within. Look, the witch is here for you. You do have the Midas touch right now. This would be a good week for you to manifest more money. Um, set some kind of a plan in motion. You do have a magic Midas touch when you're allowed to use it. What's stifling you? Identify it. Also, the witch does come in reverse when people see that you have the magic touch. You may be changing the rules on people and they don't like it, so you back down. Don't let, the, don't let that get in the way because the witch wants you to have the magic touch. I just heard someone say, I don't like witchcraft. It's a uh, nuance. I didn't mean witchcraft. I'm speaking metaphorically. Okay. And so is the deck. Whoever that was, relax. Angel numbers as well. Pay attention to the signs. Your angels are trying to deliver you a message. Okay. And I kept seeing synchronicities move around in the deck, you guys, but it didn't come out. If you see repeating numbers... I want you to stop and think about exactly what you were thinking or doing when you saw the numbers. You are getting a message about um, something when you see that number, but it's not gonna be what you want it to be about. It's gonna be about whatever you were thinking about when you saw it. Pay attention to signs. Your angels are trying to deliver you a message. They don't have a lot of avenues to reach us unless you're allowing them to speak to you through a medium or through tarot or through a psychic or something. So. 
Someone will give you a sign. Also, new door and wake up call. Your prayers have been answered and a new door is being held open for you. Wake up call. You're about to discover your life purpose. Some of you that have been wondering what to do when you grow up, so to speak, um, or just a new opportunity. There is a new opportunity card in this deck. It didn't come out. A new door will open for you in some way in the middle of February, Libra. It will be a wake-up call for you. It may surprise you. It is about your life purpose. A new door will open up. You may even educate yourself on it because the Hierophant is here. Yeah. All right, so those are the oracle messages that came out. I also saw lonely at the bottom of the deck. Some of you will feel kind of lonely or isolated this week. I know that I'm never alone. Reach out to those that will be there to support you. Some of you are feeling kind of lonely. I think it's because your power, I think you need to think about something. So again, I kind of wanted this to just be what's going on for you. And this relationship energy came through. This could be romantic, familial, a friendship. For some of you, it's about work. Yeah, and I have a king and a queen of swords on the table. So I'll just read it that way. I did quite a bit of an extension on who's in the environment. I'm like, all right, this is a relationship reading. So I'm going to read it like that. So the overall reason for the reading is the seven of wands. Either you or someone you're trying to connect to feels suddenly very challenged. You or this person may feel challenged by quite a bit of people. It's a time to stand up for your beliefs. And if you really want to understand someone else's beliefs at this time, Libra, try not to catch them off guard and try to listen to them and put yourself in their shoes so that you understand why they're being defensive. Then maybe they'll lower their wall or you'll lower your wall. But here's why that's happening. The Five of Swords is in reverse. You guys don't want to fight. You may want to make an amends after a fight. Someone may want to make an amends and the other person doesn't, but I clarified this and I got the two of cups and the three of pentacles. So what I see here is I want to talk to you. I want to work something out, but I feel like the odds are against me and I feel like people are against me and making something difficult for me or you're making it difficult for them or they're making it difficult for you. This might hit them, like shock them kind of and neither one of you want to fight. Okay, I, I can, or if you want to work something out with someone, this is the week. It can be done, okay? With, and it could, an amends could be made possibly. An amends could be made around you in your life that you need to know about, but I think something can be worked out or I think the reason someone's putting something off is that they fear a fight. But the truth is underneath, I think you both just want to talk it out and work it out and keep working on something. You might have been working on something for quite some time. This may be about a three-year plan. There could be some tension over this. Because what's driving you, Libra, is the Three of Pentacles to the world. Uh, this does look like a three-year plan. You're building and learning. You're growing. You're ready to go through this new portal into a new cycle in your life. Some of you may be thinking about moving. Some of you do feel very on top of the world and you feel like you're learning a lot, but I don't think someone likes this because I have the Five of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Magician. Okay, this looks actually like a timestamp to me with the world and the Three of Pentacles. Like this will take three years to manifest. And I think you're like, no, no, I'm, that's not good enough for me. Did you just say three years? What? No, I want to, I'm ready to manifest this now. Someone is trying to manifest. They may be mad. They may be bad. Also, you may have someone that sees you and thinks very highly of you. You inspire them, but they're also jealous of you and somewhat competitive with you. You may be entirely unaware of that. They may talk to you. Don't let them steal your ideas. I just heard that. If anyone's asking you a lot of questions at work, um, be careful with your material. I felt like someone needed to hear that. But I feel like this is about relationship and I feel like something isn't manifesting quite the way you want it to. Recent past and deep within, four of pentacles in reverse, but the seven of pentacles in reverse as well. Okay, I think that you or someone you're connecting to did let go of something they were hanging on to that they needed to let go of, but at the same time, they don't have a long-term plan. Now, you may have let go of something, Libra, that you needed to, that you've been moping about, waiting to happen. Now you can have a more productive conversation about where to go moving forward, but I think you're gonna have to work through some conflict, loss, and change to get there. 
What spirit is telling you all the time is the nine of pentacles in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse. First of all, some of you may have very scattered energy this week. Watch out for being jealous. Watch out for being the dragon lady or man. <laughs> Watch out for a fiery temper, a jealous temper. Watch out for being scattered. Some of you just meet, need more rest. You may feel a bit introverted. You may lack confidence to a degree, but that can manifest itself in having a scattered energy, an angry competitive energy, a jealous energy maybe. A bit of an introversion here. Do not give up your independence just quite yet, Libra. Focus on your own self-worth, the ability to manifest abundance into your life on your own. You can be the queen of wands. It doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. The queen creates this strong, passionate environment as an alpha, is a leader, a wonderful friend, a good partner. And she knows what she's doing. It's a person that knows what they're doing. They know their own self-worth. You may feel diminished in some way. So continue to focus on manifesting abundance into your life for yourself and believing in yourself. Don't let your energy scatter. Yeah. But the next action that will take place, I think this is between you and someone else. The Four of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. And I clarified this with the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands. I don't feel like this is you. Libra, I think that someone has been doing no action on something and dragging something out and not putting in a lot of effort and not walking away from something that they really needed to walk away from quite some time ago. And I think that you're sick of that and you're going to tell them about themselves. They're not going to like it. Here's the Seven of Wands twice. I feel like some of you may be a little bit demanding this week, but not in like a shitty way. And like, no, look, this isn't working for me. We have to work this out. I'm not thrilled with this plan. I'm not thrilled with this. You may challenge others or someone may challenge you. You will need to stand up for yourself. It's time for you to stop thinking about something. You've overthought it long enough. There may be something that you or someone around you needs to leave behind and they just don't quite know how to. This will piss either you or that person off and a direct communication has to be had about it. This is not making you feel great. I think you're okay. I mean, I have the Queen of Wands, the Empress and the High Priestess on the table, which is fantastic, but they are in the reverse. Because the way you're seeing yourself right now, Libra, is the Empress in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. Well, you're questioning your intuition. When I did a love reading for you guys the other day, it was yesterday, actually, you came out as the High Priestess. You're coming out as the High Priestess in reverse again. First of all, I think your intuition might be a little off about something and you're feeling very clouded. I also think you're pulling that mommy or daddy needs a minute. You may be very withdrawn and having a hard time trusting your own intuition or opening up to someone about what your intuition is telling you. In this instance, I don't think your intuition is necessarily off. I just think there's a lot going on in your environment. You need more facts, but I do see that this is hurting your self-esteem. Yeah. This may have to do with a mother-child bond as well. But when I clarified this, I got the Nine of Wands, the Lovers, and the Two of Pentacles. I see you questioning something this week. Well, you don't want to give up. You don't want to give up. You feel like this person or this situation is right for you with the Lovers. But with the Two of Pentacles, you're like, I don't know now. I don't know what to do. You're, you Watch out for making excuses for someone or letting them make excuses with you. What do you have time for? What are you doing? If you want to come into alignment with something that you feel is right for you, be it a relationship, a career path, going back to school, I mean, whatever. The, the angel of the divine pushes us towards things that are perfect for us in many parts of our life. You're going to have to figure out how to make that work. And you can't ignore your emotions and you have to make a pra practical choice. I think you're starting to question whether or not something is a good idea. And if it's really right for you, I can see that it's hurting you and it's making you feel scattered. But I can also see that you don't want to walk away from it. I do think you want to fight through and fight with something, uh, fight for something in your environment. Sorry, I wasn't going to do the spread like this, but I was like, okay, so we're doing this like this. 
a person in your energy, I use the Halloween Oracle deck for this person. I said, give me some cards on someone in their environment because I got a court card and I got a knight and I got the hangman in reverse. I was like, okay. This person's through the graveyard, unnecessary fear and authenticity and visibility in reverse. Hmm. First of all, this person is afraid of something and they are afraid of something coming back to haunt them or hurt them. It could be a part of their past. They, regardless of what they're afraid of, the fear is unnecessary. It's unwarranted to a large degree, and it involves them being their true authentic self. They struggle with this. We want to see this go into the upright and this go into the reverse, which is I'm okay with pulling back. This might have to do with the way others see them, in particular, their family or their children. This person may feel invisible in other parts of their life. This person may struggle to be 100% their true authentic self. And they're afraid of something unnecessarily. And you may be telling them that. Uh, use nice words. Because what I see for this person is the Hierophant in reverse, the Three of Swords, and the Hangman in reverse. I clarified further and I got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. Jesus Christ. I have a King of Wands and a King of Cups here. That came out in your love message too. <laughs> okay, it's, it's like pestering. It's following us around. So this could be two different people or the same person. I'm going to read it as the same person because honestly, I'm feeling like it is. This person may be going through a divorce or not ready for commitment. This person may be breaking rules that have been in place in their life for a very long time or they're dealing with that in their own environment. They may be challenging the system in some way. This is heartbreaking. They're in a situation where they struggle to see not only their own enlightenment, but your point of view as well. Something is, uh, they are putting off seeing something for what it really is. They are also going in circles and they are not being as emotionally mature as they could be. Something is hurting them. They're having a hard time being productive or seeing it for what it really is or surrendering. I feel like this might be a fight they have with their family. They might be going through a divorce. They might not be ready for a serious relationship. This person works hard but not smart. And they might be either a person, I'm not necessarily getting that they're emotionally manipulative. I'm getting that this person, what I'm hearing is, how can I put it? This person lets other people in their life take advantage of them because they have a big heart. And it's keeping them from being productive in their own life. They have a hard time seeing that Libra. And they are also hurt. And I don't think that has anything to do with you. Clarifying this further, I have the sun the King of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Page of Cups. If this is the same person, they are a grand visionary and they are focused on optimism with you. I think you make them feel great about themselves if I had to guess, but there is something about all of this that is stressing them the hell out and they feel vulnerable. They are going to make this little offer to you, but it's not enough for you. It's making you feel like the Empress in reverse and making you question everything and say, excuse me, I see your little page of cups. I know you're stressed out. I just heard, why are you so afraid? I'm not afraid. Okay. I also think that if this is another person in your life, if we've got two people, you've got to get the hell over this King of Cups that it isn't working out with and move towards someone new. Someone new may be coming into your life that's bringing a lot of happiness, or this could just be some Leo that gets on your nerves. They could have a child attached to them. Yeah. Something isn't quite enough for you because your feelings are judgment in the upright and the three of wands in reverse. Wow. This is, you're at a crossroads here. Actually, I don't think it's a crossroads. I think you're having an awakening and you're hearing an inner calling and what your inner calling is telling you to do. You're feeling called from up, up above spirits trying to say something to you, which is 
Stop imagining the growth potential of something at this moment. Turn around and focus on yourself. You're making a judgment call to play it small right now. Yeah, you're suddenly not seeing long term possibly. It's like you still want to work on this because you think that this is the right relationship or situation for you. But you're like, well, I'm not feeling really good. Spirit's saying you're maybe having scattered energy and giving up independence as well. But you don't want to. Because when I clarified why the Three of Wands came in reverse, I'm like, whoa, they're no longer imagining a future. They want to, but they feel like their wings are clipped and they're playing it small. You're mad. You don't like the way something's going. I can see that you don't want to fight, but something's not going the way you want it to. I have the Queen of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Empress. To my ladies, I think you're like, fuck this. Look, I'm not imagining a future here at this point because I can do all this on my own. I am the empress. Oh, and I can be independent. I can take care of children on my own as well. That's the first thing I heard was, I've got this. And I felt this for a parent in particular. I also think that some of you had, this may be a same-sex relationship as well, or a sisterly or mother-daughter kind of bond. You have fond memories of this, but you need to claim independence. Because I have the empress here in the upright and in the reverse, some of you are finally having some kind of a disillusionment about a mother figure. And you've heard an inner calling that tells you to stop imagining a future here. But I think you're going to stay very focused on yourself. Yeah. And connect back to your own inner child with it. I also hear parenting and mothering yourself as well. But the final outcome is the star. You have not given up hope on something, Libra. You still have hope. I have a lot of good cards on the table. I feel like whatever this is about for you between you and this person, Libra, it will be worked out. But you're going to have to go through some sticky stuff because I have the Five of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Swords. There are too many people involved, possibly. Okay? And this Hierophant energy can be a little stuffy, playing by the rules. And the star kind of wants to break some rules. You're going to have some tension to work through. You're not going to get everything you want. It's going to be kind of disappointing in the Six of Swords. It will move to calm waters. We go from the, all these fives to a six. You will move to calm waters. But I've got a King of Swords and a Queen of Swords here. So <laughs> watch your mouths. These two will... Uh... Do you guys both have Gemini in your chart too? Who gets the last word here? <laughs> I do have the Ace of Pentacles here as well. That could be a serious commitment. I also have the Hierophant here and the Ace of Swords. I think that this is about a, a serious business deal or business relationship going down. It could really go in a good direction, Libra, or it could be about taking it to the next level, whether or not you're getting engaged, getting married. I see you guys needing to work through some tough stuff. This could be fixing something after having a fight or just trying not to fight to get through to a clarity about a level of commitment, whether or not we're going to plant this seed and whether or not you and this person, it doesn't matter if you're same sex or opposite sex or what kind of relationship it is. When the king and queen of swords are balanced, they're powerful together. They're smart together. This person does the solutions and this person does the strategy and she does the communication and he backs it up with the truth every time. This could be a power couple in the making here, but it's not going to be all lovey-dovey and emotional. Watch out for stonewalling each other. I see productive conversations along with working through some tension and this person has got to let go of their fear and claim authenticity. You need to be given the opportunity to go through whatever amazing new door you're going to walk through. And again, you're going to do quite a bit of trial and error. And I think that someone that thought you could save them in some way is going to see that you can show them how it's done, but you can't save them. And you can't let anyone take your own power away from you. You may be trying to change the rules on somebody and do what's best for you and watch out for backing down because you don't want to fight. Sometimes in life, we have to fight. This reminds me, they're telling me to tell you guys a line from one of my favorite plays. It's called Biloxi Blues. This one character says to the main character, you've got to stand up for yourself and make a contribution to the fight. 
And the main character says, what fight? And he goes, any fight, the one you believe in. Until then, Eugene, you'll never be a writer. Because the main character was a writer. That's what they're showing me here. They're saying, I just saw that. I heard it very clearly. You've got to make a contribution to the fight, any fight, the one you believe in. Until then, you're not going to move forward. Don't give up hope. This can be worked out, Libra, especially if you have the magic touch this week. Look for signs, help people, but don't rescue them and pay attention to your health. All right, Libra, that's the middle of the month. Well, that was quite a bit. I hope it resonates and I hope it helps. You can always book a private reading with me if you want to work with me personally. My website's down in the description below this video. I'm always listening to the universe for you. Bye, Libra. I love you. I'll see you.